guys, welcome back to another video in today's episode. We'll be playing some more Red Dead Redemption and um in this episode Hold on, let me just check. Yeah, we're going all the way back over to um America again and we're going to Blackwater. So yeah, let's just go over there right now. So let's whistle for my horse. And I'll see you when we make it there. Okay, so for those that are like really confused right now, we are over in, um, if I show you on the map, this is where we started out. See, this is where we first started the game. This is the area that we were in. And then we went over to Mexico right here. And this is the final destination over here, back in America. So, um, if you don't know where I am right now, it's at uh, Blackwater, and unfortunately it's raining, which really does suck, but um, hopefully the mission's not on a timer, so we can just start it right now. So yeah, I'll just go over there. So yeah, I'm just going to go over here. See Mr. Ross? 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Yes, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all of your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has or shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? Back to you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. 
Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. And so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. <laughs> 344 348 Alright, Mr. Fordham, onward! Okay, so we're just going to skip to the destination, and we also got, um, I think it was a high-powered pistol, so yeah, we're just going to skip right now. But yeah, they just let Mr. West Dickens free from the cutscene. Took us light. Six minutes we'll to get back to America. And you and Agent I'm just gonna skip all the way over there. Stay with the vehicle and keep watch. Then you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Wreck of Seren. Come on, then, Marston. Oh, I just can't say it, can I? The name of the book, because I can remember. What's the high powered pistol like? Is it any good? I mean, I've used the Scotchfield revolver, and that's okay, but this one could be better. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderland is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. There's someone up there. You go investigate. I'll keep watch here. Okay, so, um, someone's up there. We're gonna have to investigate the noise, so... Can't see any stairs. Hurry, there's somebody up there. Yeah, we go this way. Then we go through here. There we are. Over here! I found him! Good God, that's our informant! Gnostic, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this man! I don't think he can walk! Bastard! We need to clear a path out of here! Okay, so there's people shooting. That was close. Alright. So there's just another one right in front of us, right? Wow, this thing's um pretty fast.
There we are. And uh, we're just gonna have to go down here. So we're gonna have to cover him. I'm pretty sure I can only carry pistols while I'm doing this. Whoa. Um, yeah, we're just gonna walk along here. There's still a few more that's alive. There we are, managed to kill him. Okay, so we just need to go over to the yellow marker. Wow, I don't know why I died last time. Probably because I just ran out of ammo. Who's this? What in God's name is going on? Lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap, they were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostas. Get snarky with me, Cordum. We found him tied up on the boat, then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! just gave out well fix it you fool we need to get this man to a doctor of course sir it's Dutch's men Marston we'll hold them off hold them we'll fix that damn engine follow me okay let's go have to kill some of Dutch's men
Okay, so I just died there. But whatever. Let's just keep going on. Oh, this episode's gonna be taking like forever. Okay, so it just doesn't want me to take cover. Alright, there's one guy left. We just need to take him out. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of it. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross and Mr. Fordham? Good day, good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderlins. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston. Just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good one. Okay, so we just completed the mission. So I um, hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.